Uh, dear friends, uh, we are going to the last uh, article from the, your third chapter, mm, that is the application of the Bernal's theorem. So we know there is a Bernal's theorem is nothing but the energy of the conservation of energy conservation of the liquids when it is flowing through the tube. So can we use this principle to the number of the applications? I will consider there are the two applications specially. So first application is in a venturometer. So a venturometer is the device which works on the principle of the Bernoulli's theorem. And it is simple principle which is when velocity is increases, pressure is decreases. As the pressure is increases, velocity is uh, uh, decreases. So construction for the venturometer must be known. So it should be shown in figure. It consisting of the two conical tubes A and B. And that two conical tube A and B having the cross sectional area A1 and which is uh, connected by the short uh, narrow tube C having the cross sectional area A2. So, suppose there is a uh, two tubes A and C, so both having the different cross sectional area. Let P1 P1 be the pressure and velocity of the liquid at the cross-sectional area A1 that is at enter the tube A and P2, B2 be the pressure and velocity of the liquid at the cross-sectional area A2. So at the cross-sectional area A2 that is at the entering of the tube C. So suppose there are the tubes is uh, having the same horizontal surface that is the same horizontal level. So there is a H1 is equal to H2 according to the, that is the height from the surface is an equal. Now suppose here according to this figure A1 is a cross sectional area of the tube A is a uh, greater than A2. So V1 is a velocity at cross sectional area A1 and V2 is a, a velocity of liquid at a cross-sectional area A2. If A1 is a greater than A2, then here must be the V1 is a less than V2. So it should be remember why the V1 is less than V2 because A1 is a greater than A2. So cross-sectional area, it should be remember it is an inversely proportional that is velocity. So if you apply the Bernoulli's theorem or Bernoulli's equation, then Bernoulli's equation can be applied for this condition. We know there is a P1 upon rho plus 1 upon 2, P1 square plus H1 rho G. This is for the first uh, initial state and for the cross sectional area, suppose the 1. And suppose the, this must be equal to according to Bernoulli's theorem, P2 upon rho plus 1 half V2 square plus H2G. So according to Bernoulli's theorem, P1 and P2 be the pressure at cross-sectional area A1 and cross-sectional area A2. V1 and V2 be the velocity of the liquid at cross-sectional area V1, uh, v A1 and A2. H1 and H2 be the height of that surface that is tube from the horizontal surface. But in this case, H1 must be equal to H2. So, so this equation, suppose this equation is uh, modified. So we got the H1 into H2, so this equation becomes the P1 upon rho plus 1 half upon P1 square is equal to P2 upon rho plus 1 half P2 square. Now you have only the mathematically manipulate this, so we get the equation P1 minus P2. So it should be remember this P2 move to the left side, so we got the P1 upon rho minus P2 upon rho. Rho you have to move towards the right side, so it is an here is a divide, so here is a multiply. So P1 minus P2 is equal to rho upon 2. So this is the V2 square minus V1. That is the 1 half V2 square minus 1 half V1 square. 1 half we have taken common. So we got rho upon 2 um, into V2 square minus V1 square. So we got the P1 minus P2 is equal to. Now suppose V1 you have to take the common from this equation. So we got the. Uh, v2 square upon v1 square, there is a v1 is an option in first term, so we write the divide, there is a v1 square, there is a multiply, and here is a my v1, you have to take the common outside, so there is a 1, so we get the v2 square upon v1 square minus 1. So we know there is an equation of continuity, that is a a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2, that is the mass of the liquid entering and leaving is must be the same. 
so from this equation we can be write this equation v1 so v2 upon v1 b is equal to a1 upon a2 so it should be remember from this equation we can be replace this equation that is v2 square upon v1 square gb this equation so similar equation that is the same as the p1 minus p2 is equal to rho v1 square upon 2 so p2 is equal to v2 upon v1 is a1 upon a2 so you got the if it is square so you got a1 square upon a2 square minus 1 so in terms equation can be written in terms of the cross sectional area of the tube now so can be written this mathematically can be evaluated only the a1 square minus a2 square divided by a2 square so we got this equation now we can be write the equation for the v1 so if you write the v1 so 2 is a moving to this side this is a multiply to 2 into p1 minus p2 2 into p1 minus p2 then here should be remember a2 square is divided here if it is move to this side so it is a multiply so we got the a2 square to p1 minus p2 now this is an a row is must here multiply so here must be the uh, divide so in a1 minus a, a1 square minus a2 square it is also multiply I mean it is move towards the left side so we got the divide a1 square minus a2 square so if you have to squaring square root of the both sides so we got the v1 square is equal to v1 and it is a a2 square so we write the a2 and all remaining part terms we have to take on uh, in a square root because it is square root so we got the choice p1 minus p2 and uh, divided by rho into a1 square minus a2 square so we got the equation for the velocity of the liquid passing through the cross-sectional area a1 now suppose the volume of the liquid entering through the tube a per second or through the cross-sectional area a1 or it is also called the rate of the flow of the liquid through the pipe through the tube a is equal to a1 into v1 that is a1 is a cross-section of v1 is the value so we got the rate of the flow of the liquid through the pipe is a1 into v1 now we should be remember suppose the q is the rate of the flow of the water and then we should be write the only the value of the v1 from this equation suppose this equation number 5 so if you have to put in this equation so we got this so v1 is equal to a2 square square root of the 2 p1 minus p2 divided by rho a1 square minus a2 square now suppose there is an, a height difference in the liquids in a two vertical limb is an h so this is the h is an, a height difference between the two columns that is a that is a pressure at the tube a and pressure at the tube c that is a pressure difference is a denoted by the h so we got p1 minus p2 is a pressure difference is equal to h rho g so rho is the density g is acceleration due to the gravity it is a height difference so you can be put there as 2 p1 minus p2 so you should be remember p1 minus p2 is equal to here so you should be remember why it, how the equation become so it should be remember here so this equation is going to become uh, twice twice is there so p1 minus p2 is nothing but h rho g divided by rho so we should be remember there is a rho rho must be cancel that is an important you should be remember here rho is an cancel so remaining term is only the choice h j divided by a1 square minus a2 square so we got this equation twice hg a1 square minus a2 square so we got the q is equal to a1 into a2 twice hg a1 square minus a2 now a1 and a2 is the cross sectional area of the tube so for that particular experiment a1 and a2 is a constant there g is an acceleration due to the gravity it is constant so there is only you have to determine the value of the h that is a height difference 
split with the liquid rising in the two column cooler column so we got the rate of the flow of the water through the pipes so this is an application of the bernard's theorem so there must be the chances to asking the question on this uh, in the last uh, exam so it should be remember here so now we consider the next application is the kitot tube so kitot tube is an another application of the your uh, bernard's theorem so it should be remember so it is the instrument used for measurement of the velocity of the liquid or the gas which is passing through the pipe at the any depth means you are the pipe must be at a any depth and it is a based on the bernard's theorem now this is their principal utilize here is the bernard's theorem was again so it consists of the two vertical tube having the small aperture at a lower end shown by the a and b so you can consider this is a two vertical tube a and b but in the same aperture so a small aperture but what happens the plane of the aperture at a is a parallel to the now this is an a parallel to the direction of the flow of the liquid but here plane of the aperture is uh, perpendicular to the flow of the direction of the liquid how the velocity of the flow in the pipe be the velocity of the flow in the pipe suppose a p and a pressure h at the a is the p a so this is a p a is the pressure h at the a and velocity is the v when you should be remember velocity and pressure of the liquid at a point a remains the same as they are elsewhere in the pipes means velocity and pressure of liquid at point a remain the same as they are elsewhere in the pipe the side point a the pressure of the liquid is a rho a that is pa and velocity of the liquid is v Now suppose there is a flow is a obstructed at a lower end of the second tube. That is second tube, which is in a perpendicular. So at a point B, what happens? The velocity at B fall rapidly to the zero. So because of flow of the direction is vertical, so your the end point B is in a your horizontal. So there is a perpendicular direction, perpendicular. in between the direction of the flow and over the pipe so that what happened that is place which is around the point p there is a kinetic energy of the liquid uh, become g now here is the kinetic energy of the liquid become g because it is stationary so ideal so there is an kinetic energy is so zero so obviously the there must be the pressure is gained by the same amount If the kinetic is zero, that liquid will be the gain the pressure, and due to this, the height of the second liquid column will be more than the height of the first liquid column. Now, due to this pressure, you are the height of the second column will be the more than the height of the first liquid. So, P B is now pressure at the point P, and P A is the pressure at the point A. So, applying the Bernoulli theorem for the horizontal flow at the point A and B. Now, in both cases, there is a both the tubes is in a same horizontal surface. So, H one is equal to H two. So, this third term in the Bernoulli theorem will be the equal. So, remaining term is the P upon rho. We will choose standard equation P upon rho. And there is a velocity at a is a v square upon two. Now this is for the over the first column that is over the vertical column. That is the which is the where we are written the a. For that purpose we can be writing this equation. Now if you are to apply for the second column, so you got the p b upon rho plus. Now your velocity must be the zero at the horizontal side, so velocity is zero. 
So this term is zero. Already h y divided h plus of third term is cos zero. So if we remember the modifying this equation, we got the other last equation. If you have to modify this equation, the P A upon rho is the shifted to this side. So we got the P B upon rho minus P B upon rho. P B upon rho minus P A upon rho. A upon rho, so we got the P B minus P. Now P B upon rho up might be equal to P A upon this is A, so this must be equal to the V square upon two. So we got the V square upon two. So only have to shift the rho to this side, so we got the rho into v square upon two. So we got the p b minus p is equal to rho into v. Now p b minus p is the pressure difference between point A and B, and that must be equal to h rho h. Now h is now a height difference. Rho is the density, this acceleration. So from this equation, rho v square upon two is equal to h rho g. So should we remember this equation? H rho g is equal to rho into v square divided by two. So we got the two to cancel. That is rho rho cancel. So we got the v square is equal to twice h g. And if you are squaring this equation, so we got the v is equal to twice h into g. So here is the height difference between the columns. So by measuring the h, we can be the speed of the flow of the liquid. We can be determined. So this is an application of the Bernoulli's theorem. Now this is another second application. You should be remember here first you mentioned better. Now there is the last point from the chapter is an application of the viscous flow. So viscous fluids having the so many applications. So there are the many applications. So where people are working in mechanical engineering, those are working in chemical chemistry, in physical science also. It is also used in medical pharmaceutical science. Need to be the viscosity of the substance to be understand for the particular application. If you want to do the any any branch from this, so you should be remember that the viscosity must be known. So first application, the special application, some application we can be discuss here. That is, suppose you know there is an oil is used in a lubricant in a bearing engine. We have to use a regular like the oil. We can be gracing to the your the motorcycle or the um, cycle. So there is an oil where you have to use the where. Bearing is there, so we can use it in a bearing engine. Why you can use the oil? It is to protect the against the wear to reduce the friction. So due to this an oil, there is an a friction between the two solid will be the reduces. That is the fluid film is the form between the two solid, and it is keep them being the direct contact with each other. So this is the friction. So this friction will be reduces. This is an one more one application. Our next application is if you have to use a low viscous liquid, which is used in a coolant. Coolant. When you have to use a coolant, there is a low viscous liquid is used while machine at the length shop. Now lengthening machine ja hai, cutting ki machine te ja madhi chita kono apne kada oil there will be the oil is used. Now low viscosity is used in a mobile shop to be clean. If you have to go to the visit to the in a mobile any mobile shop, so there is used. The Uh, petrol is used to be cleaning of the mo uh, mobile parts, so it should be used. It is because it is a low viscosity. Another most important application is the paint. So when you have to use the paint to varnishes, monitor so that the paint and varnishes can be applied smoothly, easily. It must be stick to the one. So it is and that is viscosity is most important part in this case also. So now during the companies manufacturing the cups are in addition, Madhi, uh, you should use the cup tiles. That is an high viscosity. Other than the other uh, medical medicine, 
of cup syrup is a high viscosity why the high viscosity is there is because it coats the throat and still the drinkable it is coated to the throat and still the uh, drinkable so one more application is the viscosity of the blood blood having the some viscosity it can help to the physician in the diagnosis of the number of the diseases disease so plasma viscosity of the blood is a higher in a patient plasma viscosity of the blood is higher in viscosity which is undergoing the cardiovascular events such as a stroke or sudden cardiac death so there is a plasma viscosity of the blood one more application is the viscosity of the ointment must have the proper value so that after application of the ointment it should stay in a affected area not a flow off another one application is it is used to transfer the mechanical energy with the actual mechanical contact point then it is also used in organic chemistry in measuring the molecular weight of the compound and last one application should be remembered it is used in the break fluid fluid with low viscosity break that you can also that you can, you can use the uh in a break system we can they are used the oil viscosity oil so it is viscous oil so fluid transmit the force through the breaking system it will be operated properly so oiling is the most important for the one of the car or the motorcycle because of the all function is a smooth in due to the oil so there is no friction friction will be the avoid or friction will be the decreases or reduces to the least so these are the application of the viscous fluid and application of the burner serum we should be reviewed uh, according the according along to this article our third chapter of the fluid mechanics will be the finished so we'll be meet in uh, your next uh, lecture that lecture will be the for your fourth chapter that will be the elasticity and uh, surface tension So there are the two points that have been included in one chapter. We will see. Thank you.